Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back again for another player interview. Today is going to be really special. It's going to be really unique. Today's the first time that I'm going to be going back to one of my old interviews and interviewing them again. This time though, he's got a new jersey that he's going to be having on. He's got a new logo on the front of his chest this year. He's going to be one of the best point guards in the SEC. I'm talking about my brother from another mother, Terry Roberts. He absolutely dominated last season in the Missouri Valley Conference for Bradley. One of the best players that they have had in recent years, if not ever, was Missouri Valley Conference Newcomer of the Year, like we called it last time we talked. He was on the All-MVC first team and just beat everybody up that he went against. A force on both ends of the floor, a true leader, and one of my closest friends. I can't wait to get him on here and ask him some questions. Hey, what's going what's on, good, bro? bro? Chilling, how are you, bro, bro? Doing good, man. Good to have you on here, bro. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. Absolutely, man. How's the final go? Uh, I went well, bro. I got a, a 90 on it, so. Hey, there you go. Good work, man. Proud of you. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Proud of you, man. I mentioned it before while I was introducing you. Missouri Valley Conference Newcomer of the Year. All NBC first team. We called it last time. We knew this was going to happen, so it's no surprise. Mm-hmm. I'm, I mean, you had such a great year at Bradley. You averaged 15 a game, five rebounds, four assists, a steal and a half, doing your stuff on the defensive end as usual. You know, talk to me about how when you got to Bradley, that role that you took on, you really took on a role of being a leader right off the bat. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I just went in. <clears throat> I went in. Um, <clears throat> I went in there on a, uh, with, a, with a different mindset, you know. Uh, leaving Juco, I feel like I should have been All-American, you know, so – I just had a chip on my shoulder, you know, going into Bradley. That was a lot of the um, the reason why I played the way I did, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you definitely had a chip on your shoulder. We all knew that you deserved that amount of All-American honors for yeah. sure. And you definitely showed why you did when you got there. One of the most dominant JUCO transfers in the country. And, I mean, you had some great games for your team, leading them, you know, to one of the better records. Talk to me about taking more of that leadership role at the Division One level. Going to a new team, usually guys aren't leading right off the bat the way that you were, and you just help become a true leader for your team at that point guard position right off the bat. Yeah, uh, when my coaches recruited me, you know, that's what they was recruiting me for, you know, to come in and be a leader. Um, so I just stepped in and uh, – uh, when I got there, I just uh, made my mark, you know, put my foot down and let everybody know what's up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, man. It it showed. You had some great games. In the Sun Bowl especially, you ended up being the Sun Bowl MVP, and rightfully so. Against Sam Houston, you had 23 points, five rebounds, five assists. And then against UTEP, you went off 26 points, 11 rebounds. I know you had a couple steals and blocks during that game. Just such a defensive presence as well. <laughs> Um, talk, what was it about that Sun Bowl that you, I know you guys were struggling there at the beginning of the year, and then when you guys hit those few games, you guys went on a little bit of a winning streak with you just going off on the scoring end. Mm-hmm. What was it that really clicked for you at that time of the season? Uh, no, I just realized, like, they needed me to score, you know. Um, that was the way it was going to be done. So I just went out there and was like, you know, I'm going to just score the ball, and whenever they make me pass the ball, I'm going to pass it. Or whenever I'm, whenever it's the right read, I'm just make the right read. So, uh, we 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 uh, tightened up from the first half of the season, I could say at, at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys definitely did, and went into conference play and really did very well in conference action against a lot of very good MVC opponents. Some of which you're actually going to be seeing in the SEC this year. <laughs> Isaiah Mosley is yeah. going to Missouri. You know, you got a couple of other that, others there also. So, talk to me. The transfer portal is a very unique thing that people are, you know, starting to use more of, including yourself, obviously. How funny is it that, you know, you're getting away from the Missouri Valley Conference, going to the SEC, and now you're actually going to be playing against some of the same guys? No, it's real funny. You know, um, when we put our name in the portals, a lot of us was, like, talking, like, you know, we was trying to, like, trying to get together, you know. But, you know, everything don't work out. So um, it was cool, though. It's cool to know I'm going to be playing with people that I played against last year, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going against Isaiah Mosley of Missouri next year. Antonio Reeves, who's 
star player for Illinois State, one of your guys' rivals, you were at Bradley. He's going to play at Kentucky, so I know that's going to be a great matchup between you and him, you guys guarding each other again. Yeah. And this past season, you actually got to play against some other FSW alumni like myself when you mm -hmm. played break. And I'm sure, not to brag for you, but you did come out with the win both times. <laughs> yeah. uh, you got to go against Tremel Murphy, Tank Hemfield, and DJ Wilkins. You know, three of the best players to ever go through FSW, just like yourself. Mm -hmm. What was it like going against that Drake team, against, you know, those FSW alumni and FSW's old coach? Uh, it was cool, bro. Like, like the whole vibe. As soon as we got there, uh, like we had like pre-practice. Um, Marty came and showed us up. You know, he showed a lot of love. And like, I was just grateful, you know, like. I was just grateful for the whole situation, being able to play, like, people I heard about while I was at FSW. It was just cool. Like, it was cool, bro. Mm -hmm. They definitely benefited from that COVID year, being able to play one last season, got to go against you. They played some great – they actually got to go against Barrick and Keon, who you played with at FSW as well. They played a lot of great talent. And mm -hmm. they actually just uh, – Tank and Tramel just signed pro, where you're going to end up eventually as well, playing pro ball. Yeah. And, I mean, that FSW bond really a lot of guys together, and they sent so many guys to that next level. And what they did for you was tremendous. The jump – we talked about last time we did an interview, the jump you made from your freshman year to your sophomore year was incredible. What – looking back on it now, how do you really – how would you really describe what FSW did to get you ready for your time at Bradley? Man, they did uh, a lot, bro, like – when I got to Bradley, it was like I was kind of – I was already adjusted, you know. I already knew everything that was going on. Um, and just, like, the terminology was a little different, but everything else was, like, the same, you know. Um, it was it was a great experience, bro. It was a fight every day in practice, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to go against tough competition every single night, especially on that freshman team that you guys were on. So much – basically everyone from that team out playing Division One ball including, mm -hmm. you know, some of the walk-ons, mm -hmm. which is unheard of, to be honest. Yeah. So great guys on that team. And so many more. We just sent six more guys to the division level this year. Yeah. And what is it about – how would you describe the FSW culture? And well, it's a winning culture, bro. Like, all we do is win, bro. All we know is win, bro. Like, all we know is win, bro. All we know is win, bro. And we just a team full of winners, bro. Like we 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 do whatever just to win, bro. You know, <laughs> you know that's probably my favorite team, bro. Like, like I, I love playing with them boys, bro. I don't think they've ever had five losses in a season. They're incredible. Yeah, it's, you know, Coach Murph leading the way. He's doing his thing. How would you how would you describe Coach Murph and also the FSW coach? How to get players to that next level, not just playing Division One ball, but also being able to produce for their teams at a high level? Uh, like I was saying earlier, it's just like how we practice, bro. Like the practice really got us ready for the next level, bro. We wasn't uh, letting up on each other in practice, bro. It was a fight every day, bro. Every day was a fight, you know. And that's why we are who we are now, bro. Mm -hmm. That's why y'all are doing your What are we doing now, bro, you know, so – uh, a lot of that goes to FSW, bro. I, 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 I appreciate them a lot, for sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. And I mentioned a few of their names uh, before. You That freshman team that you played on, you were going against Barrick every single day at practice. You were going against Jalen, you know, Jaden Campbell, who's dominated at Sanford this year, you know, CJ Lane, and, of course, Keon Ellis who is now doing his thing for the Sacramento Kings at the NBA level, where you're going to end up being one day. There's no doubt in my mind, right mm -hmm. along. The Talk to me about what was it like going against Keon every day in practice? <laughs> nah, it was funny, bro. It was funny go playing against Key. Like, Key calm, bro. He's like a calm player, you know. But practice, like, we brought it out of them, bro. Like, especially when we did, like, the freshman versus sophomores, things like that. It was crazy, bro. Like, a lot of talking. A lot of fouling, <laughs> arguing. It was good. It was it was battles, bro. It was battles, bro. Every game, every every game, every practice, whatever we did, it was a battle, bro. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. You two, both of you, are probably the two best defensive players in FSW history. Both of you are top two in steals. You're both in the top ten for block shots. And, I mean, the impact that you guys made beyond the stats is – nothing that FSW has ever seen before. How did, how would you describe what you guys did for one another defensively? How did you improve each other on the defense? Uh, we were just like in practice, we just go at each other, you know? So uh, you got two great offensive players going at each other on, 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 on offense and I'm playing defense on key. Like I'm going to try my hardest to stop them. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's coaches in the gym, so you ain't want to get embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's a lot of it, you know. Uh, we didn't want to get embarrassed, you know. We didn't want to look like we couldn't defend because that's what Murph stressed, you know. He stressed defense. And uh, we 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 worked together as a team, and everybody was good on defense, really, in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You, got, you played with a great guy that's currently averaging double figures in the summer league. I'm sure you've seen some of his games. He's been oh, – Yeah, for sure. And you're actually now going to Georgia – alongside another draft prospect who you played alongside at FSW also. I know you're you know, I'm talking about Cario Oquendo. <laughs> yeah. Highlight reel that I think can jump out of the building at will. The dude has hops. Oh mm -hmm. my god. I mean, <laughs> how excited are you to be able to play alongside him again? I'm happy, bro. We got a good feel for each other's games. You know, uh, we compliment each other a lot. Uh, I'm excited to see what we do on this level together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, you guys complimented each other a lot at FSW. I definitely can't wait to see what you guys do at Georgia. I mean, last season, without you, he averaged 15-4. and four, You know, was a leading scorer for Georgia. With you being the assist maker that you are, the playmaker, I know he's going to average more. Mm -hmm. How do you think that the two of you are going to really improve each other's game on the court this season? Uh, you know, just going a lot with uh, – being together, hanging out with each other, um, going hard in practice, staying on each other, um, not letting each other uh, take a, our foot off the gas, you know, just keeping our foot on the gas. And, yeah, just staying in the gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you had a lot of fun uh, when you were on your visit to Georgia, being able to hang out with them. Again, yeah. you guys went to, like, some football stuff, went out, you know, partying, do all that stuff that you guys got to do. What was it uh, – what was it like on that official visit to Georgia? Not just being able to see Cario, again, you know, meeting the coaches, other players, stuff, seeing the arena. What was that experience like for you? Off oh, rip, when I got to Georgia, bro, like, it was just a different vibe, bro. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, bro. It was just different. It was different. Um, I had family out here, my grandma, you know, um, a lot of cousins and things. So I just thought it was the right decision to go here, you know. And be closer to my family. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You're playing out one of the highest levels in the SEC, one of, if not the best conference. I mean, you're talking about going against Kentucky, Alabama, LSU, Florida every single night. And you better believe I'm coming to that Florida game when you come here. To <laughs> I'm I bet. Pull up, bro. I am going to be at that game. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you had – so many schools hitting you up. Some of those SEC schools hitting you up when you were in the transfer portal. What was it like when you first put your name in there, especially being one of the top transfers in the country? ESPN has you rated top 50 right now still, I believe. Oh, it was, it was crazy, bro. Like, um, coming up, not really having that much, you know, and then uh, starting to get it, it was, like, uh, eye-opening, you know. It made me just want to work harder, bro. Like, it was a, it was like a dream come true, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. It's awesome, man. It's definitely great to see you succeeding, doing your thing, man. Like, when I saw that you were George, I was so happy for you. I mean, you, you took over other schools, you know, Florida being one of them, Memphis, Kansas State, Mississippi State, Oregon. You know, Georgia has just such a high reputation with the guards especially. You talk about Anthony Edwards – you know, who's dominating for the Minnesota Timberwolves. How do you feel like Georgia, you know, going there, yeah, you're going to be with your family playing at a high level. How do you think going to Georgia is going to help improve your game overall to get you to the NBA? Uh, we got a great uh, coaching staff, bro, uh, GAs, everybody, you know. So I haven't got down there yet. Uh, I'll be down there tomorrow. But 
Uh, I know when I get down there, it, it's going to be good. It's going to get rocky, you know. So I'm excited to get down there. Um, but, yeah, the team seemed cool, bro. Everybody seemed like they work hard. So, you know, I'm just excited to get down there and just show them what I could do too. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. What do you think is going to really stick out most for you for Georgia this year? Because I know Cario is going to, you know, still be a score like he is, whatever he can to help his team. Are you looking to be – more of a force on the defensive end, be a leader, playmaker overall. What What are you saying? Uh, just uh, whatever it comes, whatever it comes, bro. Uh, playmaker, defensive stopper, whatever they need, bro. I'm here. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna be you're gonna be defending some of the top guards in the SEC. I mentioned Antonio Reed before yeah. Isaiah, but also you know Severe Wheeler, Javon Quinterly. I mean, just some top of the line players. Mm-hmm. At- school one how much are you looking forward to defending and stopping some of these top level guards and also how do you think that it challenge is gonna you know get you better as well bro i've been waiting on this bro i've been waiting on this bro. i've been ready bro i ain't even tripping about playing nobody bro <laughs> i'm just ready to play them so i can show everybody what was up Oh, yeah, man. I can't wait. I know I'm going to see you get a couple of steals in Gainesville for sure. Oh, just, yeah, for sure. <laughs> just like you always do. And I know I was surprised that the Missouri Valley Conference didn't have you listed on their all-defensive team. Does that give you a little bit of a chip on your shoulder? Yeah, that did because I, I thought I should have been on there. At least somebody on my team. You know, we none of us got uh all-defensive team. So, uh, you know, just made me want to work harder on defense. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm definitely – I have a feeling that, you know, Keon got all defensive team this past season. I'm looking forward to seeing your name on that list this upcoming season as well. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Hey, thank you so much for doing this with me, man. You're my first ever second interview <laughs> to do this, and I wanted it to be you because you know how close me and you are. Mm-hmm. I, still po- I still got that poster with me and you right up here on my wall. <laughs> That's crazy. You know how close me and you are, bro. I- can't wait to come see you play in Gainesville, man. And I am so proud of you being able to live out your dream at the high major level. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Absolutely, man. Thank you for doing this with me and have a safe day, bro. Thank you. Thank you.